Do you know what is overfitting in machine learning? Overfitting is an important concept in machine learning and during a technical interview, you may be asked about it. And even uh, in some day-to-day -day discussion, people may ask you about what is overfitting, how will you avoid overfitting. So in this video, we'll cover this important topic and help you understand what is overfitting in machine learning. So in machine learning, we can create models to determine a conclusion. So we have models that are predicting things, the models that are classifying things, but sometimes these models become overcomplicated. And when they become overcomplicated, they are able to predict a specific set of data, but not a generic set of data. For example, like in this, in this uh, diagram, if you see, we have underfitting on the leftmost side, where we have a straight line passing through different kind of a points. Then we have a just right, which is like, you know, the middle one. And then we have overfitting. So overfitting is able to, this curve is able to go through most of the points, but this is called as overfitting because it is becoming too complicated, right? Why too complicated is a problem? Too complicated is not a problem. The problem is that when we take this function and try to predict on a new data set, then it doesn't predict as much, right? So that is the issue from overfitting, right? I'll show you with the, another diagram. So like in this diagram, we have a model. So here we started like training the model. So the red line shows the training set accuracy. So if you see the training set accuracy is increasing, right? So it is keep on increasing. But then when we start doing it in the test set, test data set, so there is a point up to which the accuracy is increasing. But after that accuracy starts decreasing, right? So in training set, we are able to increase the accuracy by making the model complicated. But on the test set, the accuracy is decreasing, right? So this is the problem in overfitting, that your model is predicting the training set so well, right? Because it has understood about it, but it is not able to predict right on the test set. In the real scenario, it is not able to predict so well. So what we do is that any data that uh, the model predicts with lesser accuracy means we are observing overfitting, and this will defeat the purpose of model. So let's understand by one example, so let's say we want to predict the type of a fruit based on its height, width, color, and weight. Right? We have some data features by based on which we want to predict the type of fruit. And there may be some outliers in our data, like there's a yellow colored apple. Normally apples that have red color, we can have a yellow colored apple, right? So what happens is that if we make our model too complicated, then it may accurately predict that an object of yellow color to be apple, because it we be told like in that from the training data set that yeah, there is a yellow color apple. So model will say, yeah, the yellow color apples are also possible, right? But in actual data, when we give it like, you know, different kind of objects, they might be lemons. So lemons are yellow, but based on that color and that kind of a complication in the model, model will start predicting lemons also as apples, right? So that is overfitting. The model was thinking like, you know, too complicated way. So one simple way to understand overfitting is that our information from the past experiences can be divided into two groups. One is the information that is relevant for prediction, right? And the other part is the information that is irrelevant for prediction, which is also known as noise, right? So there is information irrelevant for the prediction noise. So whenever we have more noise in our model, it is more difficult for a model to predict correctly. So it's a difficult problem for a model to determine which part should be ignored and which part should be used. So when we have a robust learning algorithm, then the chance of fitting noise reduces drastically because in overfitting, the model is trying to fit into the noise also, like in yellow color apple. So yellow color apple was more like a noise which was irrelevant for our prediction. Right? So that way we have to make sure that our model complexity takes care of like not training towards the noise. noise. It should like, you know, ignore the noise. So what are the reasons of overfitting? Overfitting occurs when the criteria used for training the model is not same as the criteria used for judging the efficacy of model. Right? So overfitting also happens when a model tries to memorize the training data instead of learning the training data. So the idea is that if you are giving a training data in supervised learning where we give uh, some kind of labels and say that these are the features based on which you know this is how the uh, linking between the features and the label is working. Now, if the model is memorizing these links, 
then it is not like predicting it is doing a memorization right so that causes the overfitting so we have to find ways by which model tries to predict in a general way not like in a memorization way so how do we identify the overfitting so first simple rule is that if our model performs better on training set than on the test, test set it means there is overfitting in our model like we have data set of 100 like i know data points so 50 are in training set and 50 in the test set so from 50 test training sets we uh, created the model the model is able to predict very well on that right but the same model we put on the test data set it is not performing which means there is a overfitting so we can't take that model to production right so what we observe is that there is a high variance in our model and to reduce the overfitting we have to find ways to reduce the variance in model so there are different ways to reduce the overfitting we have a further video on that so do watch it to learn more about that so how do we stop overfitting so one generic way to stop overfitting is that to come up with an optimum set of parameters for the model so that the overfitting stops we don't want like all the features we don't want like complicated parameters we just want optimum set of parameters so if we increase the number of parameters beyond the optimum level make the model more complicated the overfitting will occur so we have to try to do that and there are various techniques like regularization and other mechanism by which we can stop the overfitting or prevent the overfitting so we'll cover it in the next session and keep on watching this that's all on overfitting and if you have any questions on this do post in the comment section we'll be happy to answer that also share your feedback with this thank you and do subscribe to this channel so that you can keep getting alerts from time to time and you can get up-to-date information that will help you understand more about machine learning